yeah in today's video we'll be going through how you can add uh, joints to this object and then probably weight paint it and you know test it to see if the weight paint is done properly so uh, here I have a very default mesh which you can get directly here in Maya and how we're going to work with this will be pretty pretty simple if you've not seen a video where I talked about how you can easily place your joints and other things I think you should probably check it out in the channel and then you're going to find out how you can go ahead and place joints in your scene I mean joints to your object in your scene and you know also look at the constraints because these are basically things you need to know about if you want to go into rigging which I think you really want to do uh, and that's why you came watching this video okay so we're going to go over to the rigging menu which you can access by pressing F3 on your keyboard and or you can just simply come through and just click here or we can do that by clicking here and now I'm going to go ahead and double click just create a bone and set projector to center I'm going to also turn on this so we can have an x-ray of the bones uh, when we place them if you want to have x-ray when you're working in my it's pretty simple just simply click on this button and you can have x-ray and you know okay so let's go through with this so if I've clicked on this, you would also find out that this uh, projected to center snapping is turned on. So we're just going to go simply and just uh, attach one uh, one bone here, another bone here, and another one here. Let's make sure. Okay, it's not to the center. So let's just be quite precise with this one. I'm just going to click one, two. Okay, that's working out. Three, and maybe finally we're just going to drop one here. And for any reason, when you're working with your object and you find out that the bones or the the bones are uh, very small, you can go ahead and go to your uh, what's it called again? You can go to your channel box and yeah, so you can assess your channel box from here and you can increase the radius. You know, you can increase the radius of your joint, or maybe you can even increase the radius of your joint during the time you're creating your object. So we're going to go ahead and still create more from here and I'm just going to go ahead and just click this you know just get it up and running again so I'm just clicking to add one joint there another joint here okay so let's just try as much as possible to project this to the center where it should be so this looks like a good view okay and I'm just going to drop uh, one here okay let's just drop one here just for extras okay and next thing which we're going to do I'm going to uh, come back here and I'm going to add some spine to mm, let's say to the back so I'm just going to go ahead and just drop uh, one here I think we should start from here so we can walk our way all to the top okay so I'm just going to position one here for the neck and one here for the head okay it looks like very uh, basic stuff that we all know by now I'm just going to project it properly where it should be and yeah we have this and next thing I'm going to do is also walk my way down to the tail so I'm going to click here one two three depending on how much chain you want to have for the tail you can just go ahead and position that okay it looks pretty simple okay and next thing I'm going to do is I would love to have this uh, be connected to this so I'm just going to select um, this first one and select the second one and I'm going to press P on my keyboard and I have a parent and child constraint not a constraint a parent and child sort of grouping okay so I have that working for me there I think that bone is a bit too far so I'm just going to go ahead and just select it and let's turn this off and let's go ahead and just position this a little bit there that seems to be a bit more better and I can just uh, I can just pick this and position it here one other thing I would advise you do is you can have this object selected put it inside a bucket like this a layered like that so that you don't get to tamper with it all the time so the next thing I'm going to do as well just like we did for the first one I think I might need a bone here 
so i think we need a bone joint here so i'm just going to select this and i need it to also be within this part which seems to serve as the hip here should serve as our hip so I'm, uh, i'll just simply position this a little bit better so one and two which is this joint here okay, so i'm going to press p on our keyboard and then we have this and i'm going to show you a little trick because i think i need one extra joint here so what i would do is i'll go over to skeleton and i'm just going to go ahead and disconnect this now disconnecting this simply would give me an extra joint which i can now pick and play with so if i click here now i have this joint i can just position this joint where i want it to be go ahead pick this joint and position this joint where i want it to be here one two and press p and boom see that's pretty easy and now i have another joint uh there so i can just uh do whatever i want to do with it and now i'm going to do uh the same thing here and now i'm going to do the same thing here so i'm just going to go ahead and make a selection here and i think we need it to come through to this part and we press p on our keyboard and i'm going to just simply select this come over here disconnect one long chain here I want to drop that down I want to take this a little bit higher I want to get one two so I'm just simply going to click one two and press P on the keyboard and there you have it okay so we have uh, that joint there so I'm just gonna pull this a little bit higher and let's make sure that all of these are positioned where they are supposed to be so this has to be somewhere here this has to be somewhere here and this uh, has to be somewhere here like this cool okay so the next thing which we need to worry about is how we can mirror this and if you checked out uh, the channel I also just did about a one minute video on how you can mirror your objects so we can simply do that by coming to skeleton go to mirror at this point we just want to mirror this about this point and there you have it okay so I think more descriptions are uh, on the channel. I mean, how you can play with the mirroring thing, you find them in the channel. Okay, so the next thing we would likely want to do would be to just simply come through and, and you know, walk our ways up to the ear. So let me select the ear and see how much geometry I have with this. If you want to just select this without turning this on and off, you can just right click here and say select objects so we don't have so much geometry so i don't think we should bother creating objects for that and simply click this let's take this out and click on this object and you can come through and go to skin go to bind skin it's very simple go to bind skin click on the tool settings and then you can simply apply the default and go on from there now there are different binding methods that exist now in Maya most of them were not there in previous version but from 2017 yeah and 2017.5 2018 they're all here now so you can use those ones you can also use the dual cutanium which is good but this is quite simple so I'm just going to hit apply and then you have the object skinned and the first thing you notice how you know a bone is being skinned or an object is skinned or bone is skinned or joint is skinned anywho is that this changes colors okay so now we can select this object and we can do a simple rotation okay the same thing happens here so we can also select this object and we can do a simple rotation so from here the next thing you would really want to do is come in here and start painting your weight which i would show you how to do that in some minutes so this is working properly so we don't need to paint weights there these ones are also working properly and um, this is working properly we don't need to paint weight there this is also working fine we don't need to paint these weights let's look at them and just analyze them a bit okay so we have to paint weights for the tail so i think we just need to paint weights for just a few of them so how we can fix this is 
we can first of all make sure we know the selection of bones we want to paint with for and in our situation we screwed up a little bit which simply means that we forgot to name them which is not a problem okay it's not a problem so what we can do is i can simply come through and because i know this is the joint i want to paint my weight i'm just going to go ahead and expand all of this you know just expand all of them and i'm just going to go this way that way okay so i, I need all of these joints to be named as tail okay so how can i do this i'll have to go to modify which is where you basically do all of your stuff mm -hmm. so i'm going to come to modify go to search and rename stuff and i'm searching for everything that has the name joint and i want to change them to to what what should we change them to now so we are going to change them to tailbone okay and i want this to be but just the selected apply and there you have it and i'm going to click on close so now if i click on all of this you find out that they are all tail bones which is which is much more descriptive for what we want okay so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to just simply select this and because i don't want to constantly select this uh object here i can click on this button you can always find it here you can click on this button and turn it off so i'm going to go ahead and click on this mesh okay don't get this wrong don't get this wrong i'm going to click on this mesh and i'm going to open up the paint weight tool so you can find the paint weight tool by coming over to skin and paint weight okay so this is how you can find the paint weight tool you go over to skin paint weight you find it there and if you click on this small button here you're going to find the paint weight window which you can scroll through find the joints that you want to paint a relative weight to and then you can go ahead and start painting that weight so for a joint like this we don't need it to have influence anywhere around the butt so i'm just going to go through and wipe this path off by simply making sure okay i need to make sure that i have this turned to replace first and foremost and i need to make sure that if the value is one i would have to hold control so that i can take it out if you don't hold control and click you are definitely adding more influence but because we don't want influences on this i'm going to hold control and i'm going to simply paint this out i'm sorry about the noise in the background okay so i'm going to simply come through and paint this out real good okay So my best advice for anyone who wants to do uh, a lot of paint, uh, weight painting, is try and get a tab. The Wacom tab will do you so much good. I mean, things that we're doing now with the mouse, we can do it way, way faster. I don't have my tab plugged because I had to plug in my mic, which is no, no excuse for me right now. But there we go. So... I'm just going to do this real quick. Okay, so we're having we're having progress. We're having progress. Let's look at this one. It's influencing this a whole lot, a whole lot. I mean, not a whole lot. Okay. Okay. So one thing I didn't uh, talk about is the ramp is something you should uh, take note of the more blue it is it simply means it has less influence the more red it is the more influence it has okay so for this uh, example what we have is we see all the, this part that are blue now we're actually painting them blue by holding down control and painting through or you can just simply turn this down and just paint out okay 
or you turn it all the way up and hold down control and paint now i need this tail at this point to have more influence on this part because if i don't give it as much weight as i am supposed to give it it simply means there is some other parts of the joint that is having more influence on this part of the mesh okay so what i would do is i'm going to just simply select this and then because i have this on i'm not holding down control i'm just going to simply paint in as much red weight details as i want okay so i'm just going to also toggle all the way up and just make sure that all of the joints have a respective weight that they uh, are having okay so i can i can come through and do that here as well okay just giving it a little bit of subtle weight okay doesn't doesn't really need to be so much purple looks good okay so i'm just going to give it some weight and yep white simply means it has full control of that uh, mesh and because we're dealing with something that is low poly we just have to be a bit careful so that our deformation doesn't screw up okay so i think we forgot to get that part earlier okay so just a bit more let's clean all of this part all the way out okay and now i'm cleaning all these parts out there is a simple trick to this and it simply means that once you're done adding the weight you want on a particular part of your mesh sorry i'm holding down control once you've uh, done adding the amount of weight you want for a particular part of your mesh you can go through and as far as it's not affecting the other corresponding bones you can go through and lock it now the weight here is totally locked okay so if i come through here and i have all of what i want let's start from this beginning it's normal for us here here we're having full control here okay we were having this let's just look through okay we have some kind of stubborn weights happening here so i just want to make sure that everything is working fine here and once I'm so sure of what I'm doing, I'm just going to go through and lock that particular weight. Let's come through and look at this one as well, and this one as well. And let's uh, look at the last one. Okay. All right. So this is how you can uh, start up your rig by simply uh, going through, placing your joints where they are supposed to be. And then, you know, you move up from there and do the whole skin binding thing and paint weighting in the next video i am going to be showing you how you can make use of a different algorithm that also exists in maya to bind your skin properly and then we'll talk about how you can add constraints to your joints and how you can make this work at the same time we're going to go ahead and test this object and see what we've done and how uh, our rig holds up and so if you're interested you can just see that link there you just click it and i will see you in the next video peace